you may want to slow down the execution of a logic by a few seconds, for example, for making sure the output of the API is received. In our systems, this can be done by using some plugins. In this video, I'll show you how. So you're looking at my service studio. I'm inside a reactive web application. I have not done anything else beyond that point. Uh, how we can achieve wait or sleep logic in our systems is by using a plugin. So I'm switching over to this tab for Forge. That's another way you can access Forge, by the way. And I'm searching for sleep. You will find out some uh, plugins which are available here. I'm going to use this particular one. This one allows me to put sleep uh, uh, action into the server side of the things. By the way, there are others also that uh, claim they can do on the client side as well. Uh, feel free to try, but in my video, this video, I'm going to use this one. So let's see how we can use it. So I'm switching over to my application, the same blank empty application. And I'm going to use a screen to demonstrate it. I'll call it sleep demo, create the screen. So first I'll show you things without using sleep. So to demonstrate this, I'll maybe use a button and uh, I can create a local variable here called message. Uh, I how I'll, I will use this uh, local variable is when the button is clicked, I'll display this message maybe in a uh, in a notification. So something like this. And the message is here. And before I do this, I'll pass on the time here. So this message variable that we have on the screen will have the value. You clicked properly. You clicked at I'm going to display the time there so we can see what's happening behind the scenes. I think time is good enough and done. And later on in the message, we can concatenate, which is joining these two together. And then I show up at plus same current time. So notice right now we are not using the uh, sleep. So let's go ahead and publish it. So in this first scenario, we will see how the application behaves without using the sleep logic. It's ready, I'm going to launch it. So this is our button. If I click on it, you can see the time, uh, both are same when I click and when this message pop show up. Now we're going to go back and modify this. So basically we're going to add a reference to our sleep plugin. So I've already installed it here. To use it, you look for the extension and add a reference to the server action available there. It basically has uh, the key parameter required sleep in milliseconds, which we're going to provide. Once you apply it, thereafter you can, in between this, I'm going to use the search sleep. And I'm going to make it sleep for maybe three seconds. Okay, so that's 3000 milliseconds. And let's publish now. You write this. So in this case, what we are doing is in between the click and the display of the message box, we are sleeping or slowing down the application by three seconds. So make sure that you provide this in milliseconds. So 3000 translates to three seconds. So I'm launching it again. And now if I click, you can see I clicked at 222, but it appeared at 25. I hope you were able to catch that. And that's how you use sleep in our systems. Thank you.